okay so now let's add the car steering system right here after this car engine let's create a header by the name of car steering and this should be inside double quotes after that let's create a public float by the name of wheels torque this will be equals to 35f and after this let's create a private float by the name of present run angle and the present run angle will be 40f actually let's make this equals to 0 okay after this move car function or method let's add a private void okay let's name this as car steering and in here first of all we will set the present front angle to the wheel torque and as you know we will set this present turn angle to the wheel stock when we move to the left or the right side I mean left and right is on the horizontal axis so we will say input dot get axis and let's say horizontal okay and when the car rotate as you know only the front wheels rotate so we will say front right oh basically front left wheel collider dot steer angle and guys this steer angle comes with the wheel collider okay we will equal the steer angle to the present run angle and let's do the same for the front right wheel collider so just copy that paste it down below so now we have this steering system in our vehicle let's call this function right here car steering save this and now if we click on the player car as you can see now we have the wheel torque we can change the torque if you want but for now let's leave it as 35 and now when we play the game as you can see now we can move forward and if you want to turn to the right side as you can see it is turning to the right side okay and as you can see the physics are similar to the sports car physics okay as you can see now let me play it again as you can see now we can rotate in our map as well let me play it again let's move on the front okay as you can see it just rotate a lot so let's fix that in the scene let's turn on the gizmos let's go inside the wheel colliders okay select all of the four colliders and we will move this wheel colliders a little bit above okay because it's just a basic physics that when the suspension distance is lower then there is a less chance that the car will run over okay now as you can see our uh, suspension distance is a little bit higher so we can change this to 0.01 and now as you can see it moves a little bit up there so now we decrease the suspension distance and now let's save this let's play the game you will notice now that when you move fast as you can see now our car doesn't rotate okay it doesn't run over as you can see it just now it has this beautiful drifting effect okay if you notice it so if your car is turning over then just make the what it called the distance okay the suspension distance make it lower okay as you can see now our car just moves perfectly
and as you can see the physics are also similar to sports cars physics whoops let's make the box collider let's move it a little bit down below so that nothing goes down in here okay because it just moves the car moves upwards as you saw so move this down below now let's play it and as you can see now we have this beautiful drifting car as you can see so with this done the next thing which we will be adding is the animation okay for now if you notice that when we move forward let me go inside the let me actually give it a little bit of acceleration as you can see our wheel doesn't rotate okay and when we move to the left side as you can see our wheels are not rotating so we want to animate our car wheels so let's just do that in the next video